there. Today's message is more of a challenge than a question in regarding to salvation and faith. In the earlier episodes, we examined the topic of salvation a little. We saw that salvation is us being united with God, that salvation has already been accomplished by Jesus Christ and it is found in His life that we are saved by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. And for us to receive this salvation, we need to repent of our sins, be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, and accept Him as the Lord and Savior of our lives. We also saw that salvation results in a change of life and behavior. The Christ within will lead us to live a life in harmony with God, a life that will honor God. We also saw that obedience is not legalism, it is rather the natural fruit of salvation. And lastly, we saw that faith is simply believing God, taking Him at His word, believing what the word of God says about you and depending on Him to do what He said He will do. So my challenge for you now is to believe what the word of God says about you. If you have accepted Jesus as your savior, if you have invited him into your heart and life, then you have become a new creature and have moved from darkness to light. You need to know what the word of God says about you and you need to believe what the word of God says about you because this is what faith demands. It is taking God at His word. It is believing what God says and building your life upon what He says about you. As a believer in Christ, notice who you are in God's eyes and what you have in Him. The word of God says that you are forgiven, justified, sanctified, saved, freed from sin, freed from the curse, reconciled, redeemed, adopted, made to sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, accepted in the beloved, without condemnation, already have eternal life, delivered from the power of darkness and made a citizen of the kingdom of God's dear son. You are complete in him. This is who you are in Christ Jesus. My challenge for you in this message is to believe what the Word of God says about you and to let God do in you what He promised to do. You are no longer a slave to sin. You have been set free from sin by receiving the Spirit of life which is in Christ Jesus. Not only that, but God said that He has given you power to become the Son of God and to live like a Son of God. It is yours in Christ Jesus. Your faith is what turns God's will for you into God's will in you. Jesus said, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. So here is my challenge. If you have repented of your sins, been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and accepted Jesus as your savior, if you have made the commitment to live by him and for him, then I challenge you to believe what God said about you to make it the reality of your life, to make it the basis of your new identity in Christ Jesus and your new behavior in Christ Jesus and your new life in Christ Jesus. Stop living like a slave to sin and start living like a slave to righteousness, like a child of the Most High God, the King of the universe. Start living like a new creature, like a person who has truly been set free from sin and truly has Christ within. This is my challenge for you. May Jesus guide you and lead you. May he give you the faith you need to believe the word of God and to build your life upon it. God bless you.